Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Fingerproofing your stainless steel. Does it actually exist? Today I'm gonna to show you my favorite thing and show you a couple products that are like, eh, eh, they don't get me that excited. I have four kids, by the way, so you can imagine by the end of the day how many fingerprints are all over the refrigerator and the dishwasher. Now you may have heard of this. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is not my favorite, I'll share in a second. Or this method, all-purpose cleaner. I do like this better than this one right here. Let's just go ahead and take one of these nice wipes out. I like this idea, great. You just gotta pull it out, clean real quick. Bonus here, they do smell lovely. Okay, here's why I don't like it. You're cleaning up at the end of the day. Look at this, look at the streaks on that thing. Like I'm supposed to be cleaning off fingerprints, but now I got all these streaks. So how do you get rid of the streaks? Well then you need to buff, you need to buff for longer and then you gotta wait for it to dry and see if you missed any streaks and all that sort of thing. It does make it shiny, but this in my opinion is actually more time consuming even though it's in this nice little container right here. Next thing, this method, stainless steel cleaner and polish. Again, they even tell you one of our favorite magic tricks is making fingerprints disappear. This is nice because you can control the amount of moisture that you have on your cloth. So again, we're gonna go here, I just have a microfiber towel. If you need to buff fingerprints out, you can do that, but generally you want to go with the grain of your stainless steel, which is generally in the horizontal fashion. But you can see again, we got some streaking. So you got to go over it again and go over it again and clean it up. What if I told you I had something even better and it's something that you already have laying around your house? And no, it is not vinegar, although I do like that option. Wayman, Wyman, I'm not sure how you say that. Fights fingerprints better than all purpose cleaner. Streak free formula, cleans and polishes. I don't know about that. If you watch any of my other cleaning videos, you probably know what's in this nice little container with the pink top right here. Again, we're gonna get ourselves a microfiber towel. Little goes a long way. What I'm gonna show you is actually going to disinfect and sanitize your refrigerator, depending upon how long you leave it on your refrigerator in order for this to kill the bacteria. But I got a whole set of, see? whole set of fingerprints right here. This is where the uh, kids snack drawer and yogurts and all that sort of thing is. The nice thing about this is it does dry more quickly and it is coming right up and there are no streaks and it's actually cleaning it. How about right here? What do we got here? Boom, 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 boom. Looking pretty good. Minus a few scratches right there. Oh, here's another one. Get that gone. No streaking. What's in in here? No streaking whatsoever, my friend. Yes, yes. Now, I'm not bashing these two things right here. I mean, everything is good in its own way. But here, rubbing alcohol. That is all you need is a little rubbing alcohol to clean your stainless steel. Like, really clean the stainless steel and remove your fingerprints. Now, will any of these prevent future fingerprints from coming? No, not necessarily. And even this one up here where I use the fingerprint resistant, it doesn't necessarily resist the fingerprints, as you can see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up here. It's left a greasy film on top of the refrigerator. And buying a thing of rubbing alcohol is much cheaper. I do not dilute my alcohol, but you certainly can if you want to. Now, if you want to go in at the end and do a little polishing of your stainless steel, I do like this. However, let's just look in the back here really quick. What do we see here is like that number two ingredient, coconut oil. So you certainly could just take some coconut oil from your kitchen and use that as well. Let me know if you've tried this in that comments box below. When it comes to cleaning your stainless steel, give the video a thumbs up. Click the video on screen now for some additional and clever cleaning and life hacks. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.